Welcome back to the second part of this series, ArcGIS for Beginners, an introduction. If you haven't subscribed to the channel to receive the coming parts, click on the subscribe button. We are thrilled to continue this tutorial. Based on your comments on this channel, I have come up with an audio along with the visual marks. Open your ArcGIS desktop and let's directly jump into it. When you open your Arc map, you will find that the units are undefined throughout the map. This is because no projections or units are assigned. Here is how you can assign map units. There are two options to open the saved arc map project. Its file extension includes .mxd file. First, go to the folder directory double click on the file itself. You can also open from the arc map itself by clicking on file, open, click on the arc map mxd file. To access the files where you work regularly, you should connect it with arc catalog. The ARC Catalog helps to organize and manage various types of geographic information for ArcGIS Desktop. The kinds of information that can be organized and managed in ARC Catalog includes geodatabases, raster files, most of the time, when you open your ARC map you might encounter this problem. The file locations are disconnected but only their list of visible on table of contents. So, check their file location on layer properties, source tab, then connect to that directory. If other file locations are not changed, all of the vector or raster files will appear. When you open ArcMap it is opened automatically with one layer or data frame. But, you can add multiple layers or data frames. Let's see how you can add another data frame. Go to Insert and click on Data Frame. It eases in creating a distinguished area on a map layout. Data frame is also called layers in ArcGIS. You can add data to your newly added data frame from your computer or you may simply drag a file from another data frame. It will automatically be added. Note, it's strictly recommended that a single layer or data frame needs to be assigned with the same projections and the data added should also be in similar projections. Switch to Layout View from Data View. Then each data frame will have a distinct mapping area. To switch between data frames, activate the layer of your interest. Let us make a map of one of the provinces of Ukraine, named Mykolaivska Oblast. Assigning appropriate projection to each input data or TAND is an invaluable step in GIS analysis.
I hope you liked part 2 of this series, ArcGIS for Beginners, an introduction. Please subscribe to this channel. Have a beautiful day.